It was like my birthday and like we had all gone out to dinner um, and then he like threw up like all over the table and like you know it was like so humiliating. I was like upset because I was like why like on like my birthday like why can't we just have like a normal dinner out like why does everything have to be like disrupted and my parents were like they got really like annoyed with me and they said I was like selfish. He was born in the 50s. They were called retarded. He like had started speaking and then like all of a sudden he just stopped. She was diagnosed with severe intellectual disabilities, cerebral palsy, and a seizure disorder. The responsibility at times felt overwhelming for me. There was always like People were like staring. When you make friends or you meet people, they kind of have to pass the sibling test in order to, in order for you to have anything to do with them. Because you're, you're even if you're not doing it rationally, you're subconsciously okay. If, if you can get along with my sib, then I'll be able to get along with you because that's important. Uh, I, I wanted to be a comedian when I was six because there was so much uh, <laughs> stress in the family. It's a big ask for a partner, I think, for the responsibility and baggage that I can bring into a relationship because of my siblings. He would cry like really loudly and uh, yeah, it's just, it's like overwhelming the thought of like having a child. I'm hoping that, that you know, at the point that my parents pass away that my siblings would be in a group home. I don't have to have the responsibility of taking care of them daily. Having a disability is a lifelong, you know, journey. It's a part of you. It's, it's who you are. It's still buried. You know, there's still the stigma of living differently.